this show is about the real world. In the real gay world, there are sex, drugs, house music, not to mention drag queens. Not to knock off MTV's real world, because I think it's great what they're doing, but this is about the real gay world. Um, what's the next part? No, we're not just a bunch of flaky, voguing queens high on acid and ecstasy. Some of us do have jobs, people, and careers, and some of us do want to be taken seriously. Anyway, anyway, I just, I just want to make sure that you don't think that we're just a bunch of flaky, voguing queens with, like, no brains or whatever. Some of us do have jobs, some of us do have careers, and believe it or not, some of us do want to be taken seriously. This show is not only for us party people of color, it is for you white boys as well, because without you there wouldn't be such a thing as in as interracial couples. The white boy. What's the next line? We are here, we drink beer, so get used to it. Okay. However, Urban Rhythms is not only for us white people for us white people of color. <laughs> <laughs> However, Urban Rhythms, no, no, that was cute. However, Urban Rhythms is not only for us party people of color, it is for you sexy white boys as well, because without you, there wouldn't be such a thing as interracial couples. And what about you lesbians always complaining how you ain't got nowhere to go? Well, guess what? You don't. Because New York City doesn't have many to offer for lesbians. So, but we are going to try to focus on whatever's left of the lesbian scene. Politics, who cares? Yo, what's up? This is MX Alvarez, and I'll be hosting Urban Rhythms, the entertainment segment, which will focus on New York City's underground gay scene. But people up there, will you cut it out? What's the next line? Yeah, okay. People of color, why? Because... To be frank, minorities we are in, especially in New York City. I mean, let's face it, folks. I mean, we are here, drink beer, get used to it. <laughs> in the real world, there is house music, sex, and drugs. Not to knock on MTV's real world, because I think that's pretty cool what they're doing. But this is the real gay world, okay? In the real gay world, there are party people and there are drag queens. Multitudes of drag queens. Lots and lots of drag queens. Lots and lots of dry Lots and lots of dry <laughs> And now we're not just a bunch of flaky voguing. Those are my fans, people. Gay bashing. <laughs> they hate me out here. No, I'm not gonna say that part. What's what's the next line? Oh, okay. Politics, who cares? Stonewall? Who the fuck organized? I mean, who the hell organized these events anyway? I mean, at 11 o'clock in the morning, I was stoned out of my mind at Sound Factory. How the hell was I supposed to find a march? What's the next line? No, we don't. Okay, yeah. Enough about politics and why we're gay. The fact is, we just are, and we like it, okay? And we love it. So, we want to hear about Galena. We want to hear about Junior Vasquez. We want guest lists. We want food drink tickets. Okay? Enough already about activism and bullshit like that. So, anyway, just stay tuned and watch Urban Rhythm. We want to hear about music. We want to hear about the dancing. We want free drink tickets. We want guest lists, okay? We want to be famous. I just threw on my script and I don't know what else is on it. And I think that's all I have to say. Pretty much. Don't you like this? It's, you know, it's fake, but I'm not a poser, but I'm going to get it done for real. And anyway, our first, our first episode is going to be basically on Nadio and Tadius who bring you Factoria 21 and Café Con Leche. And also Rainbow Tear who brings you Webster Hall and... That's what the show is going to be basically about. The club scenes, drag queens. We're going to try to do everything, everything possible. Just make like a really cool hip show. Because, you know, gay cable television really sucks. I mean, I hate to say it, but it really does suck. And my ear lip is coming out. My lip, my lip, my ear lip is coming out. Okay, thank you. You know, gay cable television really sucks. I mean... Except for like Robin Burr and a couple of other things. And in the words of Cathay Chang, don't give out my number.